What's up fellow React Andes? I'm Parasynical and welcome back to the VODs channel. We have loads of content today, but most importantly, this is the stream where I watch TF2 and its most degenerate player. And surprisingly, it wasn't me. <laughs> so please enjoy. No, my favorite stream is a minute late. A minute late. How could he do it? It's 60 seconds late. I can, I can never watch this guy again, honestly. Fell off tremendously. Uh, thank you, Ice... Ice Hard Nipple. You, you guys' names, man. Thank you for joining, and I will heal you for joining. Got some calming music on for once. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to repeat this a couple times, because we've still got people piling in. I promise... My, my promise to you, for a good minute... I'm not going to do any more Sunny V2 reactions, okay? Because because it's... I, I'm getting the feeling, the consensus overall, people just think people do not like it. I, I have said so many times that, that, that it's like uh, money-making content to fund stuff on the main channel because I don't want a Patreon. But, uh... Yeah, I, I, I just seem to have people, like, complaining about the reactions. Like, I like doing... Holy sh... So many people just got timed out. Thank you, Zodiac, for joining. Uh, Gambius. I like... I'm, I'm clicking on your guys' names, and it freezes my PC for, like, two seconds. I literally have, like, a 3090 in this laptop. Thank you, Soup Dog, for the 10. Thanks for being a distraction for me having flu. You're my favorite cat boy. Oh, yeah, chat, by the way, uh, Ida's right next to me. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Hello, mate. Hello, Gavna. She's uh, she's just right next to me on her tablet drawing hideous things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's technically the truth. Yeah, I know. Wow, that's so hot. Don't show it on stream. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna give the dog a treat. Hang on. Let's see if we can get him. Just like that, he's gone. Just like that, he's gone. You see his little tail, though. Oh my god. What? It's just like this... My laptop is so overpowered, but it just runs like on OBS. There's like, every time I scroll, there's like a... There's like a delay for a second or something. It sucks. I don't know. Truck mug. Truck mug. Right, we got some donos. Every time I accept one of these, there's a chance it's gonna brick my OBS, but let's let's give it a try. There's a YouTube video called Perk 30 Disaster. You should watch it. It's funny as f Perk 30 Disaster. I don't know if I wanna watch something called Perk 30 Disaster. From losing Oh, is this Ghetto Smosh again? You, you gotta stop linking me Ghetto Smosh. Can I react to this on stream? Because they keep saying, like, the, the N-word and shit. I, I can't play it. Yeah, yeah, literally first two seconds. Unlucky. I can't play that on stream. Thank you, Slay Beggy, for joining. I, I can't play shit like that on stream, bro. I'll get TOS. Look, 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 there, there is this group of you in a Discord server, I'm convinced. You are rent-free promoting Ghetto Smosh every single stream. Have you seen Ghetto Smash? Oh, did Max? Oh, Max played it. <laughs> of course, Max would play it. Fucking lord. Fucking. Give this to your editor. Give that money to my editor? No, I don't think I will. Someone literally donated and said, give it to my editor. your balls pyro. I pay you for it anyway. Show my balls. Uh, that is also TOS, so no, I don't think I will. Thank you, Dragon Normie, for joining. No, I don't think I should. Hey, pyro. Was kinda surprised to find out that you're not gay. With that said, how's your rabbit, Blue? 
What a, what a, what a backhanded donor. Uh, the, the rabbit's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Sweden at the moment. Uh, so the rabbit isn't here. Rabbit's back in the UK. I don't know. Just kind of... Thank you, Rowan, for joining. Hey, Pyro. Been a massive fan since the early four out for days. Been loving the content every day since, and you've been a great inspiration. Thank you for all that you do. By the way, have you seen my family? They said they'd be back. It's been days. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what happened to your family. Sorry about that. But thank you for the uh, 13 C3PO. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, I, okay, we've got a, a few more people on stream. I, I've said this earlier, this is my promise, right? For, for, for at least a little while, there will be no more Sunny V2 reactions. Because... No. Well, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, because... I, I, I see that people are kind of like not happy with them. They, they just think it's low quality shit, which is what the second channel is. The second channel was literally meant to be a money printer to fund the main. But uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of seeing like an overwhelmingly negative response to the uh, Sunny V2 stuff. Sunny V2 just uploaded. No, 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 no. Right, let's have a look. I mean, I'm still going to do reactions and stuff, definitely, but I'm not going to... Yeah, I'll probably just take a break from Sonny, because, you know, he he literally just uploaded 18 minutes ago. Ah, ah. Watch the Rat Loba TF2 video. The, the Rat Loba TF2 video? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was planning on uh, watching that this stream. I was planning on watching that. Knuckles, piss off Pyro right now. I'm editing a Freedom Planet video. It's a game about dragons. You wouldn't like it, Cave. I also watch the new Puddle video. The new Puddle video? Together one bed and thinks he belongs in Sweden. Thank you, Jacob, for joining. When is Ultra Kill? And thank you, Pixie, for joining. How did you get so big? <laughs> you know what they're referencing, right? Yeah, anyways. How did you get so big? I had Fortnite Burger. Amogus. 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 Yeah, we're going to watch that rat lobber video. I've got a lot to say on that because I, I greased TF2 on the Xbox as a kid. Greased it. Thank you, Lingo Bingo, for joining. Bro, it's 10 a.m. Everyone in school. Oldest parasynical fan. Are we playing anything today? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't, think, I don't think I've got time, because I don't like to split stuff up into parts. I kind of, I just want to one-shot something, but maybe. You guys seem to like that, uh, that endoparasitic game. You know, the one where you had, like, one arm and you had to do everything? I, I'm going to do a main channel video on that at some point. Probably after Cruelty Squad. Because I, th I think after, after how much of a big project Cruelty Squad is, I need something a lot smaller. But I don't want to do, like, a Netflix film review. Some good news, though, about the Cruelty Squad video. I was so worried that I was going to have to put out another... Because, you know, the Netflix film review I put out, the Indian one? It was it was a decent video, but it wasn't anything amazing. It was just kind of mid. Uh, I was worried I'd have to do another one of those to fill a sponsor obligation, but I've literally begged them on my knees today to, like, push the sponsor back to January. So they're giving me until, like, January now, so I can actually focus on Cruelty Squad. Which is nice. I, I, I was checking the subreddit as well later, uh, a couple hours ago. It's nice to see that there's actually, like, positive posts on there now. Because I keep wanting to react to the subreddit, but I just can't at the minute. It's 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 just full of renters. 
It's literally a group of people that just uh, promote the same posts in their in their group, like saying I've sold out and stuff. It's like, my guy, did you not realize I purposely lost an ATK sponsor just so I could get the outro music for Total Chaos? Like, there, there's so many other, other times where I could have cut corners or sold out. I know you're gonna give me a fell off answer, but do you have an opinion on the new Halo Infinite update? What's the update? Halo Infinite? What's the update? Is it is it co-op? They got finally got co-op. It's Forge, right? Isn't it Forge? Like two years after the game came out, or like one year. Halo Infinite Winter Update. Battle Pass. Great, yeah. Is is the Halo update good or not? Is the Halo update good? If it, if it isn't good, I could probably watch it. If it's like they're actually turning it around, then yeah, I just won't bother. We only like negativity. It's just meh. Yeah. It's probably them just adding stuff in that like they should have already added in like on launch, right? Forge is really good. Yeah, I feel a lot of the people that will play Forge will literally just be like people in their late teens and 20s that are like trying to relive Halo 3. And then they kind of realize it doesn't have the spark anymore. I don't know. Pyro, why don't you watch court can videos, people game ending 12 people and getting 10 days in jail is big chungus poopy butthole epic content. I can't do it, Charlie. I can't react to it because you already reacted watch to it. Endo parasitic become the new Betskip 2. Nah, nah. If I, if I do an endoparasitic video, I, I want it to be short. I want it to be like 20 minutes. That's the, that's the whole point. It was meant to be like a, an easy digestible video as opposed to like... Because at the minute, this Cruelty Squad video is, is looking like four hours long. It's, it's ridiculous. I think it's going to be longer than the Far Cry 3 one. Because I'm explaining every enemy, every map, the the lore. Uh, I'm doing, I'm, I'm putting it in like a tier list as well, which is a bit, a bit formulaic, but I think it helps make the video like a bit more like engageable. That's not a word. You haven't made a video on the Twitter stuff yet with Elon Musk. What's even happened there? He just he he fired employees and now they've got a verified check mark, right? I saw uh, Critical did a video saying Twitter's dying, so I feel like I can't even talk about it now because I'll probably just be repeating what he's saying. All I know is that there are people on Twitter that have called themselves real parasynical and they've bought Twitter Blue to get the verified check mark, so they're pretending to be me. And there are morons that are, that are actually falling for it. Thank you, Christian, for joining. I'm watching from work, folding papers and freezing my butt off. Why are you outside folding papers? How about you wear clothes? I actually understand and support the decision behind making the server member only. It was so annoying seeing all those deep woken kids start flooding in and starting shit. Too bad I already got banned there for saying the N word. <laughs> <laughs> most most reasonable parasynical fan there. It's like he 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 understands why the server went private and then he said the N word. Nice. Most reasonable parasynical fan right there. What what was the server actually raided by deep woken morons? I'm surprised. I have- the, the mods have like shielded me from that, man. I swear, I have not seen half the garbage that goes on there. I do think though with the server, I don't know if we're gonna keep the paywall up. We might reduce the cost to like a dollar or just remove it completely. But I think what we might do, uh... I, I did talk to the mods about this, I've never said this publicly before, but... You know, let, let, let's keep it a secret between us. Um... Uh, I think what we we're gonna do is, uh, what a lot of the Minecraft YouTubers do is... They have two servers, like Tubbo and Tommy in it and stuff. They'll have a public server that 
everyone can join, everyone, you can post, you can do whatever, but then they've got like a premium, like a, a server that you have to be a Twitch sub to join. And I think that's how we're going to organize it. I think we're going to have it as once you're a member on the YouTube channel, then you get access to the, the other server. Because I think we've tried to have one server and accompany people that have paid and then people that are there for free. And there's just too much like chaos. So maybe that, maybe that might work. Because that keeps everyone happy. Because I'm, I'm obviously not expecting everyone to fork over money just to be in a Discord server. That's moronic. So, yeah, that might be a good compromise for everyone. I, I know that's Minecraft YouTuber territory, but it, it seems like a good model. Thank you, Hans, for joining. I've noticed a lot of System Shock references. What's your opinion on the sequel and the remake? Uh, I want to do a video on the sequel at some point. Definitely. That's going to be a monster to cover, though. Thank you, Duncan, for joining. Uh, who else we got? Uh, Hyman's Chug. Right. Let me let me get some more donos in on that, and then uh, I will. Hey, Byro. I've been a fan for start. a while, literally since middle school. Just wanted to say you're a great content creator. Also, you're gay. Watch the Ancient Megas Bride, or else I'll cry. Watch the what? Hang on. Let me get back to you in seven years. OBS just froze. Watch the Ancient. Magus Bride. See, I look up everything you guys suggest because I, I can't tell whether it's like... Some of it, some of the stuff you suggest... Oh, it's anime. Okay, anyways. Anyways. I thought you meant for like a video. Brian, yeah, new Poddle video is an instant classic Spongebob experiences Delta P and dies instantly. Oh my god, you were so slow, so awful. Thanks, Charlie. Wow. This really do be L stream. Wow. All in the head. Wow. Monkey go happy. Wow. Shut up. How many times- you, you guys like min-max, you donate the minimum and then you just send like essay, you send Bible essay. Like Order of the Phoenix. Pyro, I failed an exam. Say something nice to me please and thank you. Unlucky. Incredibly unlucky. You should have cheated. Why, why, why don't you do what, uh... What, what do kids do? What, what Mulan did? You just write all the answers on your arm in ink. Or you write it on a water bottle. Is it? I, I remember when I had exams when I was in school and they wouldn't let you bring a water bottle into the exam hall that had a label on it because you could write answers inside the actual label. Honestly, in retrospect, it was it, like I never did, but it must have been so easy to, to cheat those exams, man. It must have been so easy. Thank you, Alan, for joining. It must have been so easy to cheat in exams. Okay. Uh, new Sunny V2 video. Unlucky. We're not watching it. Right. Let me get to this reaction, Andrew. Uh, opera. So I had some of you guys suggest this to me. Um, this is basically TF2. Uh, TF2 on the Xbox. Could you cough more disgustingly? <laughs> average, average woman cough. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be interesting to watch. Because I, I used to grease TF2 on the Xbox as a kid. Because uh, TF2 only came... You couldn't buy TF2 on the Xbox. You had to buy it on the Orange Box. And the Orange Box had Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Episode 2, uh, Portal, and then Team Fortress 2. But I think this video talks more about like the modding scene and stuff as well. Jesus Christ, how slow is this delay? Oh my god. When people
people look back at their first experience with Team Fortress 2, it usually involves downloading Steam for the first time on the shittiest computer known to man, asking your mom to bypass the annoying ass fucking download thing she put on it, what the fuck man, and blazing through a brand new magical place called 2 Fort at a whopping 15 FPS. I, I feel like I missed out on like a bit of my childhood, like not having a PC growing up, because I was on Xbox, uh, the Xbox, the 360, I never had a PlayStation, uh, except a PS1, and I never had a PC. I, I feel like I'm missing out on all these people that would play like CS Source and stuff when they were kids, because that just seemed like absolute chaos. But yeah, no, I, I started off on the PlayStation 1, then I jumped onto the original Xbox, and on the original Xbox, I played nothing except like Serious Sam. If any of you played Serious Sam, by the way, you deserve like a veteran's discount. The originals, they're so good. And then it, I jumped onto 360. <laughs> If you're the weirdest guy of all time, though... Okay, okay, okay. I want to ask chat, just to prove that all of you here are like, you know, above the age of seven. What, what is this that he just did here? What, what, what? It, it said the name in the... Oh, fuck, it said the name. It said the name. Never mind. Never mind. It said the name. It, his name literally gave it away. His name gave it away. You, you, one of you is going to say it, and you're going to start parroting each other now. Yeah, yeah. No, you're saying Spy Crab because his name said Spy Crab. You didn't know what it was. You didn't. You didn't know. You didn't. You definitely did not know what it was. You either saw the name or you saw one guy say it in chat. You just copied him. <laughs> if you're the weirdest guy of all time, though, your first experience with Team Fortress Two probably involves one of these things. If you're the weirdest guy of all time, you're probably a pyro man as well. Or maybe it involves uh, one of these things, but that's like that's too weird, man. Nowadays, when discussing the Xbox 360 version of TF2, people seem to treat it like some weird novelty that nobody ever really even played. I do want to say, I, I love Valve, mostly. Uh, they're a good company, mostly. But one thing I will never forgive them for is the fact that they kept baiting and blue-balling the Team Fortress 2 Xbox community for an update. And it never came. It never came. They... they they did forum posts saying that they're going to start updating it in tandem with the PC version. They were going to do like, you know, hats, new weapons, uh, cosmetics, all that kind of stuff. They never did. They never did. T TF2 on the Xbox had like four maps. I think it was like uh, Hydro, Gravel, uh, 2 4. They, they never updated it. TF2 on the Xbox was that outdated that to this day, if you boot the game up and play it, they've still got that glitch where if you taunt and then you jump, you will like be able to move around while still doing the taunt. So you would have, like, soldiers doing the, the L emote, like the Fortnite emote, while rockets, like, protrude out of their chest, killing you instantly. They, they never updated it. And the worst thing is, they never said they wouldn't update it, so they, they, they just blue-balled. So there's me as this, like, optimistic little kid just thinking, like, I'll just wait a little bit longer, a couple more years, a couple more years, and then I'll get the update. Like, yeah, you know, it was there, but who wanted to rocket jump with this? Well, you know, me. The Xbox 360 version of TF2 was the very first version of TF2 that I ever played. While now it's viewed as some gimped alternate universe version of real TF2, back in the day- I am so thinking if people still play this game. Because I, I remember when I stopped playing it and I moved to PC, there were like- there, there would always be three servers. There'd be one that was always packed, one that was half dead, and then one that was like some- one poor bastard that was just waiting on his own for more people to join. He's probably Russian. But I just wonder now if there are still people that are on it, right? Because, you know, you get those kinds of people that just never actually move on and they just stay stuck almost in like a time capsule. They, this pretty much on Steam, yes, not sure. I mean, yeah, no, I re really people play Team Fortress 2 on Steam. Are you sure? I don't know about that one. I, haven't, I don't know about that one. I, 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 I don't know. Hang on. I really don't believe you that, that there's still people playing it on on Steam. Oh, there was only there was only eighty thousand people playing it today. Oh, the game's kind of dying. I think that's that's not a lot. That's actually not a lot. How much was real TF2? I can only speak for myself as a certified console kid, but I never really get the vibe that console players felt like they weren't playing TF2. As far as we were concerned, we were playing the same version of TF2 that released on the PC. Sometimes Do you know how many times you'd have an engineer that would build a level 3 century right outside their spawn? And the best thing is, you would spend about 9 years destroying the turret, and all they would do is run inside, get the metal, and then just rebuild it right there, because they've got all the resources to build it. 
I, I hate... The only thing... I hate engineers. And the only thing I hate more than engineers are soldiers. Shortly after the Sniper versus Spy update for Team Fortress 2, I think pretty much all hope was lost that Valve or EA or whoever would push out an update for the Xbox 360. I played the PC version of TF2, there are lots of updates, and I buy Xbox version and they don't have any of the new weapons. They never updated the game. I, I'm convinced they never gave TF2 on the Xbox a single update, like not even for stability or anything. 60 version of TF2. I mean, yeah, I was mad. You know, I wanted the cool hats and stuff, but the truth was my mom didn't even let me use her credit card on the computer anyways, so I wasn't even really missing out on much. Plus, there was still- You wanna know how stupid I was as a kid? Um, on the Xbox, you could get demos of games. Like, you could get the orange box and you could play the demo for Half-Life 2 Episode 2 on there. I played the demo, I completed it, because it's only like 10 minutes long, and then I spent three hours looking around on the Xbox store how to buy the orange box, not understanding that it was a demo for a game that you had to pay money for. I just thought that there was another download link like on the Xbox and I could just get the whole game for free. I, I was actually just so dense. Something really, really strange and unique that- What? What you say was? How about you keep drawing that and shut up? The Xbox version that TF2 had over the PC version. Something that, without extensive modding, the PC version would never, ever- Oh my god! Why are you drawing that? Why are you drawing a tomato? Why are you drawing a tomato on the monitor? Stop. ...or be able to have. Now I know what you're thinking. The PC version, the TF2, does have- The hacks! Oh, what is that from again? I just remember that meme where you'd have Dr. Breen with a huge head. And he would just say hacks and then he'd throw computers at people. That was Idiot Box, right? That was Jim on Idiot Box. I'm sure it was. Hang on. The hacks! He keeps defaulting to this defunct line video. Oh my god. 12, 13 years ago. Oh, it was Das Bo shit. Oh my god. I know this sounds really bad to say, but this was like my childhood, man. This really was. I was so jealous. Someone just spamming Chinese in the chat, okay. What mobile game are you promoting today? Um, yeah, no, I, I remember being so jealous of PC players, how they got access to Gmod, and I, I genuinely thought, again, like, that would come to the Xbox. I was so naive, man. The Xbox, like, you know, okay, you know, I keep memeing saying, like, the PS5 has no games. It kind of doesn't have no games, but no, like, memes aside, the Xbox actually has no games. You've got Halo, and that's it. Even after all these years, you've got, you got Team Fortress 2, and you got Halo. You got a game that gets no updates on release, and then a game that gets one update a year after release. Now I know what you're thinking. The PC version of TF2 does have hacks. Some would say, in fact, that it has uh, too many, too many hacks. But hacks in the console sphere didn't really- uh, I'll be honest with you, I've never seen someone hack in TF2 on the, on the Xbox. I never- I, I've got like 15- I've got like 3k hours on it. No, 2k hours on it. I've never seen someone hack. Every other Xbox game, you would always have someone hack. Like on GTA, like he's showing here, you just have people just walk around and money bags would just fall off their back. And that was amazing. Because you know in GTA 5, you could buy, you had to buy like shark cards and that to like, you know, get your actual, you know, to get actual money. You felt like you were actually getting like real life money there. It was amazing. You mean what they mean in the PC gaming sphere. And the Call of Duty as well. Like, like there was a thing you could buy and it was called a, it's called a JTAG. Let's see if we can find it. There was a thing you could buy called a JTAG. Yeah, there you go, a JTAG. And it was basically... I'm, I'm not sure how it worked, honestly, but it basically enabled you to get a bunch of, like, cheats on your Xbox. It, it, it's kind of like jailbreaking an Xbox, I guess. I like this one here. Like, it's got the, the Batman, like, Riddler thing. Like, that is definitely Paul Dano's Xbox. But yeah, but it just allowed you to do, to do a bunch of cheats and stuff. I remember going into like Modern Warfare lobbies and you would just have people that like, they would just spam rocket launchers and stuff. Like it was insane. It was so unfun though, being on the receiving end of that. Console space, hacks were cool. Really cool. Aim hacks. You always had two kinds of hackers, right? You had like, 
the good, you had the black hat hackers that just wanted to, like, fuck your game up. You know the people in Dark Souls that run hacks and stuff that, like, you know, they curse your character forever and they just ruin your game? And then you had the good hacks. Like, that guy in GTA that would just give you, like, $2 million as a flex. Like, he'd feel good about it because it boosted his ego and you got free money. Model swapping hack. Oh, yeah, yeah. There'd be people that uh, modded on card zombies as well. That's... I, oh, my God. Okay. Childhood memory unlocked. Childhood memory unlocked. I remember playing uh on black ops uh no no call of duty world at war this exact map i joined a lobby with a guy and he he was like a hacker right like, like he had all the mods and stuff he instantly bumped me from like rank 30 corporal sergeant to 10th prestige in a single go and you know what the best thing is about call of duty world at war you get two achievements you get an achievement for getting first prestige and then you get an achievement for getting 10th prestige and both of them are worth nothing. They're worth zero gamer points. Hang on, hang on. The achievement is literally called Go Get Some Sun. You get this achievement for getting, uh, yeah, 10th prestige. The highest level of prestige. So it's zero, it's zero fucking gamer score as well. It's worth absolutely nothing. And the, the, the developers are literally just roasting you for spending so much on the game. Could you imagine being some, like, poor bastard that spent months of their life trying to get 10th prestige? Meanwhile, I just joined a lobby and got bumped to 10 for free. Thank God. I think... Wh whoever did that to me when I was, like, a kid, I, I swear I was, like, 13 or something. Thank you so much for doing that. Because by you doing that, you broke, like, the mental chain that I had to get prestige in every COD game. After that guy bumped me to 10th, I never cared about, like, ranks in COD ever again. Ever again. Hacks. Fucking text all over the screen hacks. Hacks that unlocked new weapons and guns and hacks that gave you fucking XP for free. It's crazy. I remember playing Left 4 Dead 2 and I thought that there was a guy that was hacking the game because you got, like, a bunch of CSGO weapons, like the MP5 and stuff. But then I realized that Left 4 Dead 2 censors all the blood in the German version. So Valve felt sorry for them and gave everyone that has a German copy of Left 4 Dead 2 all the CS weapons like the uh, the Scout Sniper and the MP5 and stuff. So, yeah, it's cool to know. But but I, I thought that was hacks as well. As a kid in the golden age of console gaming, hacks were the stuff of legend. Getting a hacker in your lobby felt like running oh my into a God. celebrity or something. Bro, this, this video is like childhood memory unlocked. It's actually so cool. I remember going to school and there was this annoying ass kid named Jordan and he would tell me that somebody hacked in Spongebob into his Call of Duty game and I was like, uh-uh, that's not true, Jordan. You can't hack Spongebob. Why is he using like Tyler1 as a representation of himself? But while Jordan was lying his ass off, there was one game that actually did have insane multiplayer hacks that allowed for pure chaos during online play. That game... Guess what it was. Guess what game it was. Yeah, it, was, it was TF2. I, I, I knew you were going to get it. Now, if you aren't a uh, giant nerd, you might sometimes forget that TF2 originally launched with the Orange Box, which was a collection of a bunch of games all bundled together for a nice price. On the PC, this just effectively gave you five separate games, but on console, these games all existed on the same disc, unified under one launcher, and all the files could be accessed by any of the five. One, one thing that's great about the Orange Box is all the builds that got released were never updated. I've already said that about TF2, but I remember playing Portal, and in the original Portal, you could get uh, medals, right, for like time trials, and it'd be bronze, silver, gold. And if you, this is the best thing, if you enable, you could enable cheats on Portal, like no clip and stuff, right? Or like, uh, you know, super jump or place portals anywhere, like actual cheats, like up, down, left, right, like, you know, not hacking the game. If you cheated, the game would know and it would void your score. So if you completed, if you placed a portal where you shouldn't have, like inside the elevator, you completed the map in two seconds, you would have got gold, but then the game would have said you're a cheater and it voids it. But I'm not joking. You enable the cheat, you put the portal inside the elevator, just before you go inside the elevator, if you then turn the cheat off, the game has no recollection you ever used the cheat, and then you get gold. It was, it was, the, it was the easiest gamer score I got in my life. Games at any time. Now, why does that matter? And what does it even have to do with hacking? Well... What the hell? Bro, I played TF2 for 2,000 hours as a kid. I never saw this once. How is that fair? Thank you, Derek, for joining. I, I, I've never seen anyone hack in TF2, like, ever on the Xbox. 
attacks on the console version of TF2 were frankly just fucking deranged. G-Man and- Video muted? Uh, yeah, I, I would have believed that if it wasn't the same guy spamming it 20 times. Two Fort. Combine Soldier in Two Fort. Fucking somebody's cat or something in Two Fort. In addition to just generally fucking with the map, any model from any of the five games on the orange box could be spawned in at will during a regular old public lobby. That is madness. So everything was under the same- you could literally just spawn like the G-Man and Alex together in a two fort map this shit was just fucking evil as a guy who could they literally made half-life multiplayer guys like like no meme they, they made half-life multiplayer not afford a source case this was ba th this kind of hacking is like the poor man's version of gmod even though gmod is free th this is for people that were on the console and they could never get gmod people pc in the late 2000s this was the closest thing i ever had to gmod and i loved every second of it now Hackers were pretty prevalent at the time. It's genius like how much the frames are slowing down as well because the Xbox couldn't process like anything more than like three characters on screen. Even when the game was brand new. Had the console version of TF2 not been such a- Gmod isn't free? That's where it's free. Isn't- isn't Gmod free? Ida. Huh? Isn't- isn't Gmod free? I don't know. Hang on. Oh no, it's 10, it's 10 euros. It's not free. Okay, well, anyways. Anyways. You know what I mean, you know what I mean? Like, like it's not that it's $10, it's more the fact that, like, they were, they were stuck on a, on a console, right? As opposed to getting a PC. A giant piece of shit anyways. I probably would have been mad that there were so many hackers ruining the game, but frankly, the game just wasn't good enough to be ruined. Amongst the countless TF2 console memories that I hold near and dear, almost none of the highlights involve regular vanilla gameplay. They involve fucking big ass truck. Uh -oh. My family have this amazing ability to call me exclusively when I'm streaming. You do that as well. Yeah. Hang on. I just gotta tell her I'm streaming. And she just calls again immediately after. Like, I, I, I hang up, I tell her I'm streaming, and then she just calls me again immediately after, and then hangs up and says sorry. <laughs> Giant-ass, big-ass truck highlights. That's what the highlights involve. Now, obviously, I grew up to be very big and handsome, and I eventually got a computer that could run real TF2. And I slowly but surely almost completely forgot about the console version of the game. Online, my adult life, almost nobody was eager. Oh my god. That image right there is absolutely horrifying. That is like what I would, I would literally be as a kid, I would just be indoors all day and I would just spam search for a lobby. And until like the Americans came on in the evening, you would literally never find a lobby during the day, like ever. You're to share their positive memory. That was 2007. Oh my God, I'm old. I'm old. Yeah. You're old. 45 is old. You're like 80. Hag with TF2's Xbox port. The attitude in general was very negative and I felt like nobody in a million years would ever make content about the console ports of TF2. Because, well, nobody cares. Besides, I felt like as an adult, the hacks that were possible in TF2 were starting to lose their novelty a bit. I felt like the boundaries could be pushed much further, but nobody cared enough to do it. That was what I thought until I came across this strange little guy and his strange little channel. I was searching YouTube one day and realized that there was a severe lack of footage of TF2 console mods online. Which makes sense because getting footage of gameplay in 2009 was not as easy as hitting a button. You had to get one of these and you had to get one of these and I don't know what I don't even know what that is frankly. So I remember back then you can get capture cards and they were so ridiculously expensive. So you would literally just have these people that like set up their like Sony camcorder and film their screen like it's a scene from The Blair Witch. Getting footage of the insane hacks that I was talking about felt nearly impossible. Nobody who was there at the time was keen enough to record any footage of the mods, and there was almost certainly nobody who was still around today who knew how to recreate them. Except, well, frankly, my dear boy, there was. I want you guys to meet Doctor. That's his name. That's just the man's name. It's just Doctor. Doctor. When I first stumbled upon Doctor's channel, I lost my damn marbles. Imagine if the cool mystery hacker guy from your childhood game lobbies made an entire channel about his cool mystery hacks. Yeah, that's what this is. Now, the hacks that I outlined at the start of this video are pretty cool, 
It's always nice to see wacky, sandboxy shenanigans take place on the most limited version of TF2 that there is. But what Doctor is doing is... different. Doctor has breached the limits of what I frankly thought was even possible when it comes to console modding. He's even breached the limits of what I thought was possible with TF2 modding, period. Take the project that he says he's most proud of, for example. The source mod watching paint dry ported over to the Xbox version of Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Oh my god. What? He's also working on porting over the Halloween spells from modern TF2 into console TF2. So he's literally porting over PC mods from the Half-Life engine from Source into the Xbox. That's a, it, it's so weird how you just get these kinds of people that are dedicated for that because obviously this, this appeals to like next to no one now because everyone's moved on. But yeah, you, you really got to respect how... I can see Rat Lubber in my chat, you little lurker. This video is pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Why don't you have a little tick? How many subs you got? 30k, unlucky. Yeah, I thought you would have had a tick by now. There is a treasure trove of crazy- It, it is a good video though, if, you, if you're wondering. You're, you're unlocking a lot of childhood memories for me. The ass shit on this guy's channel. Lost Coast on Xbox. Beta assets ported back into games. Half-Life 2 maps in TF2. Uh, Obama. And while all this technically advanced- <laughs> Wait, 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 how is he getting Obama? Like, that's not even in the source engine. Yeah, he just gets Obama. ...in TF2. Uh, Obama. I don't know why, like, I feel if that Obama spoke, he'd be voiced by Jay Schlatt. And while all this technically advanced, insane, evil genius stuff does impress me, it doesn't resonate with me nearly as much as the work Doctor has been doing. Oh, wow. He got, like, Gmod Construct in as well. With Gmod stuff. Seeing GM Construct oh my God, no way. out on a console would have blown my mind if I was still nine years old. Uh, yeah, honestly, honestly, if, if me as a kid, if I got access to Gmod on console, I would have, I would have creamed everywhere. Like, that, that's... I mean, the guy's, like, 15 years too late, but... That's still so cool, though. The fact that, like, you can retroactively mod that. And it just shows as well that they could have... It, it could have been a possibility. Like, get, like it could have been a thing back then. The fact that he specifically opted to use the Gmod 10 version, along with the very first version of GM Construct, proves he's pretty self-aware about the nostalgia aspect to what he's doing. I remember being a kid and looking up YouTube videos of people playing Gmod on the Xbox 360, only to realize that they literally... They put a monitor that had Gmod on top of it, so it was Gmod. Oh, my God. I think I saw that video. Th th there were so many videos like this where, like, you would just have someone that was saying that they were playing a game. Do, do you know those videos you'd see and it'd be like GTA 4 or, or like GTA 5 on the PSP, right? And there's no way that they could do it. They're either playing a preloaded video very well. I mean, here you go. The, the, there's a really good example here. I mean, th this one's a comedic one. Surely some of you in chat know about the uh, Call of Duty old woman, right? Hang on. You know, you know that one, right? It's so good. Same. Why are you drawing a tomato? Yeah, th th this this came out. When did this come out? Twelve years ago. But look at this. This is obviously bait. It's meant to be a bit. Is but Julie playing Modern Warfare Two again. Oh my god, this is like a nostalgia trip, man. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Right, it's uh, we're on the. We're on the underpants level. Underpants. Right? And then we walk across the bridge. Right? So many people used to do this though back then. And, uh, this door like here, this, this is one of the best ones though. On this is one of the best ones. Uh, two there. Three in that corner. And four in that corner. And then drop a uh, flash grenade. Stun grenade whatever. And, and then, then she's uh, there. Hey! <laughs> That's so well edited, though. That is. Why did my word document just open up? That that is that is so well edited. That that that's amazing. Like you can see even with the motion tracking, they've done such a good job there. <laughs> they've obviously used so many filters to mask it as well. But that looks like an actual video, like, inside the game. That's so good. Like, damn, that is such a well-made video. What's this guy up to now? That's 12 years ago. He works in films, yeah, I'm not surprised, honestly. I'm not surprised. 
But yeah, no, that that was that was such a classic video because I remember being a moron and I booted up Modern Warfare Two to try and actually find that. Is it Modern Warfare Two or Three? Yeah, Two. That's right. I remember trying to actually do that Easter egg and I was I, I pulled out the little UMP and I was shooting in the corner. I was like, Why is it not working? Why? YouTube wouldn't lie to me. Gmod on top of the Xbox 360 is fucking dumb, man. I don't know if I exactly have the words to describe how cool I find this stuff. In a way, it captures the essence of what tinkering with Source games felt like way back in the day. Someone in chat said Granny 4. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the bad ending. If you don't escape the house in time, she just like guns you down with the UMP. Nowadays, it seems like everybody knows how to use Hammer, Blender, VTF Edit, and a myriad of other Source development tools. But the work that Doctor is doing harkens back to the days when nobody knew how to do anything. On the PC versions of the game, it's as easy as opening your TF2 installation and looking through all these crazy ass files, but on the console version of TF2, nobody really knew how the sausage was made. As much as the uh, Source Engine community likes to see itself as better than other communities, it still has its faults. It seems like every discussion regarding Source Overwatch 2 be like $20 skin these days is about beta content or leaks or how much better at using hammer you are than everybody else so it's really nice to see someone who's more or less completely detached from all of that silently making really cool shit while everyone else argues about uh, how good or bad half-life 2 is that's maybe the greatest part of this guy's mods and this guy's videos they would be cool two years after tf2's release or 20 years after tf2's release if this were just a guy uploading pc mods to his youtube channel like, I'm 25 watching this now, and I'm having such a nostalgia trip. Like, it's unlocking so many memories. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy how he's been able to, like, retroactively do that. But yeah, no, like like he just said, if that actually came out a couple years after TF2, like, my childhood mind would have just been blown away. That that would be like getting all all body parts of Exodia, like, straight away, my first pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Channel, I don't... I mean, I probably, I probably, probably wouldn't care. Also, I get the chance to talk to Doctor before I make this video, and uh, I'll go over the highlights of that conversation right now. Doctor told me he makes his console mod scripts on the PC with a leaked version of TF2. He also came to the same conclusion that I did in this video, which is that the PC version almost doesn't even allow for this type of stuff. Not in a technical sense, but in a community sense. Furthermore, he would like to credit the general console modding community at large, and says that one man cannot take credit for the efforts of hundreds of console modders across the years. A man of the people. A map based, based doctor, an actual man of the people. Wow. When I asked the doctor about the nature of his work, he described it as being practically stuck in time, which is a pretty cool way of looking at it. To someone who didn't grow up on these console games, it might just seem like I'm losing my mind over some stupid ass stuff you could do in Gmod in five seconds. But I do think that there's something to be said about the rebellious nature of modding and hacking console games, given how high the barrier of entry is. I, I think it's so cool. I think if you have the ability to give players more through like content and stuff, I think that's amazing. Definitely. You know, like I said earlier about the money bags in GTA dropping all that stuff. If there's a way that you can improve the player's experience or just give them some kind of like fun or entertainment, that's great. Because it's an ego boost for you because you probably feel better about it because people look at you and think, oh my god, he's a, he's a god. And then you're actually improving people's day. It's great. Like, like, like hacking can actually be used in such a beneficial way. How many preventative measures console companies have in hey. place? Sandwich. You save one for me. Are they both for you? Yeah, I want one. Uh, not now. I'll have one in a bit though. To stop stuff like this. I mean, you've still got more bread, right? And then the... Yeah. Yeah. It will all be eaten. Frankly, it's just human nature to want to break the rules, even when it comes to games. How those rules are broken, though, can vary wildly depending on how the rules are set up. People like Doctor, who continue to break the rules in such a unique and cool way, are part of what made playing these games at the you time me. so memorable and so fun. Even if I was just effectively playing Dollar Store Gmod. I am Ratlobber, and thank you for watching this video about TF2 Funny. And remember, TF2 is, uh, is funny. Bye. <laughs> That was a good video. Whoever suggested that, thank you. And uh, yeah, Rat Lobber, keep it up, man. Good content. I, I love I love niche stuff like that. I really do. I really enjoy stuff like that. Stuff that talks about like, you know, old, I don't know, just, just like stuff that applies to childhood. Uh, we got some more donos. Hang on. TF2 players be like why we don't get updates anymore.
my brother in Christ, at least your servers are still up. Oh yeah, Good true. Titanfall 2. You had bots everywhere. You had bots everywhere in the TF2 servers, that's true. Hey Pyro, do you think people ride Valve's ding dong too much by ignoring the shit Valve did to the gaming industry? I think they got lazy now. Brian, you should play Night at Gates of Hell. It's your kind if game and it's short too. Look into happy meat farms. Oh, I've, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen is that. this the pain residence? No, this is Patriarch. <laughs> oh my god, where's that from? Where's that from? Is this the pain residence? No, this is Patriarch. Please don't make it the new meme, guys. Please. Watching it do video probably reminded you of all those you've gotten hints the stream name. Nah, nah. When I when I played TF2, I was carrying. I was carrying. I would I would sweat two four and just be sat in a corner with the flamethrower the entire time. Is this the pain residence? No, this is Patrick. Um, we got any more suggestions? That was a good video suggestion. I know you guys have been asking me to watch that for a couple streams. Yeah, Smosh, definitely not. Watch Sunny. I can't. I made I made a promise. Thank you uh, to Woji for joining. Oh yeah, thank you uh, fifty dollars for Silver Edge. What's your opinion on Bronies? What's What's your opinion on Bronies? I prefer not to speak. I prefer not to speak. If I uh, speak, I'm in big trouble. Uh, really big trouble. Watch Daily Dose of Internet. I mean, the guy that sounds like Leafy. All right, I, I can't turn that into a video, but I can I can watch. Sure. It would be funny if you watch an entire Paul Harrell video for no reason. What's Paul Harrell? Also, the guy from Punisher. Um, daily dose of internet. Let's have a look. Chiropractor cracks dog's neck. Mm, I love, I love dopamine. Mm, free Hello. dopamine. Mm, dopamine, good. Mm. Hello everyone, this is your Leafy is here. Everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This chiropractor is a professional that specializes in helping dogs that have pain in their neck. It, it sounds like that sound effect was just added in. Professional, do not attempt. Yeah, I don't think I was going to try and break my dog's neck, cheers. That's good, yeah? That's good, yeah? Reddit? Eat her. Shark expert was about to eat her. But was pretty lucky they eat her. Was hurt, and the shark eventually Consume the flesh. Yeah, it's like a shark. A little dinosaur. Based. <laughs> it just reminds me of the dinosaur from uh, Toy Story. That's a coward. And put them under a microscope. He found little microscopic pieces of plastic scattered throughout the cheese. I love microplastics! In a factory contains more plastic compared to food that isn't made in a factory. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You wrap slices of cheese in plastic and then there's plastic on the cheese? No way. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that. Microscopic pieces of plastic scattered throughout the cheese. 
Food that is processed in a factory contains more plastic compared to food that isn't made in a factory. I mean, like, they, they, they did a test before on plastic water bottles, and if you have a plastic water bottle, you will ingest plastic. And even if you have a glass water bottle, there will be traces of plastic on there. You know, they, they I know this sounds kind of spooky. They tried to do a study on how plastic affects humans long-term, microplastics. And they can't actually do the exam because every single human has been contaminated by microplastic. So there is no pure human that they can actually do like a, a, a ground basis on, on the work. They've got no one to work from because everyone's been contaminated by microplastic to some degree. Okay, this one's based. I've seen this before. No, 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 no. Now, 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 now. <laughs> Unlucky. I don't say this a lot, but he fell off. <laughs> These students were playing musical chairs when one student thought of a big brain move. What's the big brain move? Okay, that was kind of clever. That was kind of clever. Oh. Rap. Oh. That kind of slipped out, excuse me. Average American. <laughs> this cat and dog set up a system where the cat will knock the food off the counter and the dog will eat it when it lands on the floor. I keep seeing this everywhere, man. Like, like why? You, you will get these huge ass dogs that are enormous in size and then this little cat will just absolutely terror them every single time. Officer, arrest me! Oh, no. Arrest me, officer! <laughs> <laughs> among us! Among us, among us, among us, among us, among us, among us! Fall down the stairs, fall down the stairs, fall down the stairs, fall down the stairs. Unlucky. Oh my god. That looked like a- that looked like a video editing trick. Look at that, Jesus. Oh my god. Among- among us! Among- among us. Among us, but epic. Pyro, I don't care if you don't turn Ghetto Smosh into a video. Perk 30 Disaster is a fucking masterpiece and you have to see it. Watch the Owenaville video on Nikocado or else hit the gritty. I miss Sunny V2. Same. He was he was such easy content. Pour one out for my boy. He will be missed. We got any other suggestions? No, oh, I can't be asked. We could. Is there another day we could do that? Is there another day we could do that? No. Unlucky. Maybe tomorrow, like early. Well, they're obviously going to say yeah. I said that to you before. But, uh. I don't think I can make a video out of that. Boohoo. Boohoo. He cares about his business. Whee! Interrogation videos. Has JCS uploaded? Yeah, I think he I think he quit. He got like too many strikes or something. Oh wow, they're pretending to be crazy, got age gated? Why? Did they all get age gated? Should we watch uh, an interrogation? Watch the Podal video? Yeah, I'll, I'll watch that. I gotta, I gotta give my boy some notoriety. We'll, we'll watch Podal. Watch a bit of Podal. SpongeBob experiences Delta P and dies instantly. It's just the, the, the title alone is so good, man. I love Podal's videos. Mr. Incredible gets blasted by a JDAM. <laughs> Uh, this is like my this is like my humor joint direct attack munition You've you know podal right? Podal you uploaded a new video. It's like a spongebob one 
Yeah, you know, the one that did Mr. Incredible gets blasted by a JDAM. Yeah. It's so good. Okay. Okay. We're watching this. We're watching this. We're watching this. I got I to gotta give my boy some uh, 4K. He's treating us good today. We eating good today, Podal. He does all this in Blender, I think, right? BP oil. <laughs> One thing I love is like, you know, you know when like anyone reacts to stuff, including me, that they, they, they play it up a bit for the camera. Like, you know, they'll, they'll laugh at stuff that's kind of like a, a 6 out of 10 funny, not really an 8 out of 10. Like, I, I actually, unironically, just do not hold back watching this guy's videos. Like, they, they, they kill me every single time. The amount of like mental illness humor he has just resonates with me perfectly. Does he have subtitles on this? He does, we actually eating good. <laughs> Another crap down the oil rig. I hope I have some mail. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Just Just throw a continental breakfast at my face. God, I have nothing left. Poor Squidward. My name is Squidward. I Someone said every Call of Duty cutscene. I'm a transocean <laughs> offshore drilling contractor. I do this. No way he's watching Podal. I literally, I've yoinked half my humor from him. H half the reason why the, vid the videos I make are even watchable is, is because of him. Same thing every day. Drill for a while. There's nothing like a cigarette out in the Gulf of Mexico. How do I land? <laughs> I should probably go home and do nothing. Get back down here, Squidward! Someone said that this is Ghost's backstory, Modern Warfare. No, I, I, I can believe that. They're, they're both from Manchester. Squidward's from Manchester. Yeah, he is now, because I said he is. A BT sport dish. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Uh, good morning, Squidward. How was your shift on the already? We live, we live in a cruel, disgusting world, and I'm alone. Also, my wife is... Okay. Look, Squidward, that drill pipe is buckling from extreme pressure. Who gives a shit? Oh, hey, Patrick. It's genius, like, how much he's upped the production quality of these videos, but, like, the, the, the humor is still exactly the same. I, I love it. You look like crap. Why do you even exist? What do we do? I think they should run a negative pressure test before they do anything else. Oh, Delta P, or differential pressure, refers to the situation where the pressure between two bodies of water are dramatically different. The cement plug depth below the wellhead can influence the differential pressure created during a negative pressure test, and can also be caused by a phenomenon referred to as angular compression. Like, why does this look so good? This should not look so good. Well, you're the expert, Sharkward. I smell like the deep water horizon. What the hell are you even saying? I don't even know. <laughs> they just make the hat oversized. <laughs> Take a look at these. They show what it looks like from space. Now, the, the spill is that white area. It's California. It's five miles off the coast of Louisiana. Efforts to activate the well's blow-up cover failed. That valve that is at the wellhead is designed to shut off the well. This is the quickest and easiest what solution. What they can an industrial accident hundreds of miles away could have such an impact on us. <laughs> I know, I know loud, loud should not equal funny, but this guy just, perp he actually defies that entirely. Oh my god, it just blew up. 
Oh, he's the safety inspector. Unlucky. Wells nearby to push mud and concrete into the gushing cavity to stop the flow of oil, but that could take weeks. I like how they're just using actual like CNN news footage. <laughs> the B and Q logo and the B and Q logo. <laughs> Think we have a blowout incoming from 18,000 feet below. Somebody ordered substandard drilling cement to contain the well bore. Good damn it! We should evacuate the crusty oil platform as soon as possible. Shit! Squidward! I'm going to run him over with my car! Wait, what was that? Was that, what was that text say there? What was that text say? I like how this is the most replayed bit. People want to see what that text says. Hang on. Thank you, Joshify, for joining. Why are you pausing the video here? <laughs> Play Rayman 2, The Great Escape. It'd get 1 billion views. I don't know about that one. I, I played that a lot as a kid, though. It's really fucking good. There seems to be a large gaping hole on it. Let's go! Help me, God. Watch out for the LPP, you stupid. What the? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near there. Well, with three commercial daughter fatalities involve Delta P. <laughs> Visible to a diver, but it strikes suddenly without warning. Patrick, help! Can you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to play the clarinet in the dark. A normal pressure could accumulate inside the marine right and go up, expanding rapidly and blow. Patrick, you fucking idiot! Hold it. An emergency <laughs> item. Patrick, to sharp cutting blades to seal it out of shut control. Shut up, you meaningless like organism! Stop Lock talking! Buckle buckle, preventing the blind ship from <laughs> functioning properly. Instead of <laughs> he always does, he's done this for years. He always does this thing where, like, he just he'll just give, he'll obviously give up on like what to edit, so he'll just end up like drawing over the editing software. Preventing the blind shoe rim from functioning properly. Instead of cutting and sealing the rip. What the hell have you done, you stupid idiot? I don't know my investments. <laughs> Was the investment like going upside down? <laughs> this guy's off the paper. Average Ethereum investor. It's just the sound effects that get me, man. Nord Stream Pipeline. Such a beautiful view of the vast, malevolent sea. I wish I had someone to experience this with. I don't think that will ever happen, though. I look like someone beat me up. I don't know why I do anything anymore. We're like old watches forgotten in some drawer, ticking away unnoticed by the world until we eventually seize up. Squidward was let a gun down in Sinaola, Mexico, while trying to cross the border. Rip. His videos are so good. Please give give Podal a sub, please. His stuff is actually so good. It's genius. Oh, thank you, Pixie, for the five gifted. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have you heard of the game Helltaker? It's a pretty neat game, Emo, and the art style and music absolutely slaps. It's also free on Steam and is relatively short. I have not seen Helltaker, no. Pyro, what do you think of Sonic Frontiers? Please drop 50 pounds to stream it. Uh... 
Sonic Frontiers? I actually haven't played it. Rayman 3 OST? Yeah, no, it's it's so good. The, the Rayman 2 and Rayman 3 OSTs are so good. They're goated. We got any other uh, suggestions? Because if not, I might uh, dip now to go back to work on the Cruelty Squad video. Sam Hyde. Call of the Lamb? I installed that. I actually never played it. I keep installing it, like wanting to set time aside to play it, and I just never do. Did you guys see, by the way, that uh, EDP is back? EDP 445? He's back and he, I think he went on to like an add-in Ross stream and he basically just said like, you know, he was happy he got away with it or something, it was insane. And then he uploaded a TikTok of just him eating a cupcake. A and you've got people in the comments section that are saying like, and ironically, I don't care what he's done, he's funny. Which is like... Yeah, the worst thing you can say. Why is he not in jail? Uh, he was probably never going to go to jail. It's it's so hard to prove that kind of stuff in court. And the thing is as well, it, it's like when you have to catch a predator. What they did on that show is they work side by side with the authorities. So... If you just have like a guy filming it, sending the text himself, pretending to be the child, and they're not giving it to the authorities at the time so they can monitor the investigation, they'll just show it and the police will be like, all, all you've got is a bunch of texts. He's got plausible deniability. Or, or entrapment. They call it entrapment. Because the texts they need to send have got to be like so neutral and stuff, I think, as well. I'll see if I can find that, actually. The... Check out Ruben Sim. Why has there been like an update on the uh has there been an update on the Roblox thing? Why they let him back? I don't think they mean to. I think he just like keeps making new accounts and stuff like ban evading. Yeah, you've got EDP on a interview, but it's like an hour and a half long. I might do a video on that. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. You just get someone completely deplatformed and they just always find a way to come back. Uh Roblox developer arrested by the FBI. That can't be good. Okay. Nah, it's it's like some thing with kids or something, I think. 
Yeah, it's it's really bad. Like this Ruben Sim drama. Okay, should, should we watch that? Hang on. One of you suggested this. Oh, shit, hang on. Because uh, I, I, I've been keeping up with this a little bit, but there's been a new update nine days ago. Uh, I, obviously, like, warning as well, like, the, the topics in this are going to be pretty heavy because they usually are with this Roblox drama. I've been kind of following it for a little bit, but yeah, it's 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 insane, the, the stuff they go into. Like, just grooming and stuff like that. Literally main... Yeah, let me let these donos in and then I'll watch it. Main Roadhog because of your Overwatch videos. Unlucky. Roadhog's the best class, though. Unironically, best class. There's this small platforming game called Synesthesia that takes like 10 minutes to complete. Synesthesia? It has really nice visuals and music as well as mechanics. It's very cool overall. Synesthesia. What is that? Is it like a piano game? I don't know. I want to play uh, LiDAR at some point. You know that game on Gmod where you get the gun and it scans the room slowly with a bunch of dots? I do want to stream that at some point. I probably won't do it today because I'll just react to this and then go back to work. But uh, I do want to... I do want to play LiDAR. Maybe even do like a main channel video on it. Right, let's, uh, let, let, let's watch this. See what new developments there are in this disgusting case. Yeah. Is it age-restricted? It's actually somehow not. Okay. Holy $50. 50, 50 euros. Uh, no subtitles. Yeah, let's give it a watch. Yeah, I remember watching one of these videos and I was just instantly disgusted, like the amount of shit going on in it. Oh, is there no? I've got it muted, idiot. When I first learned about Arnold, I only knew him by his online aliases. He named himself Shabletsky after one of Roblox's founders, John no, Shabletsky. No! Anime profile picture! No! Like I like how it used to be, uh... It used to be fairy profile picture is bad and anime is cool, but now they basically just both go hand in hand with degeneracy. Convincing people that he was his brother seems legit, right? Over the span of five years, Arnold went from being one of Roblox's highest paid developers to being indicted on two felonies, facing two life sentences in half a million. Life. Life. Million dollars in fines. From what I understand, all of this. Wait, Charlie already did this. Are you, are you trolling? If Charlie already did this, I'm not even going to bother. He covered it 15 hours ago. Oh. Please tell me you're trolling. I'm not even going to bother watching it. Oh, for fuck's sake, Charlie! Ah! Every, every time, every time. Like, like I, I get the video out before him, I get no praise. I, I'm late to the video, I get called a clone. Every single time. Every single time. <laughs> This is crazy, guys. This is like the biggest, poopiest, but chungus. And today in the Dragon Dildo ass leakage saga, we've got two indictments of life sentencing. Yeah, I'm not going to bother then. All right. I, 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 I'm not going to bother. Fuck my life. I hate, I hate YouTube. I hate it. I hate it. I hate YouTube. I hate YouTube. Drug stream. Yeah, I'm not going to bother watching that then. I thought I had something then, man. I thought I had something. It's over. It's over. Hi, I'm Ludwig. Buy me a car. You can afford a car. It's so genius though, because like I get less views than uh, Ludwig and Charlie. Like I need to get to the topic first, and then if not, then. Yeah, it's 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 an L. Cuz I've been late to topics before and it's just it's 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 dead. It's dead. Uh, I'm a little I'm a little roach that has to get to the scraps first. Have I seen the Discord cult online? Isn't that every Discord cult? Every Discord group? 
Is that like a video Discord cult? Okay, there's like... Discord's most disgusting server. You mean like Discord's most disgusting server of the week. Exposing a VR cult. There's, oh yeah, you see the dog in the background? Base dog. Piro, what's with your obsession with guest masker actors? You main Piro in To Do, you main Rotahog in Overwatch, you main Bloodhound in Apex, and you wanna guest mask yourself. What's the deal, bro? Uh, I'm deeply mentally ill. I don't know, I just think gas masks are kind of cool. Is your dog based? It's not my dog, it's hers. It's called Trog. No, he's not. It's not called that. It's called Trog. It's not. It's called Trog. It's not. It's called Trog. You want to show the screen what you're game won't show up in searches cause there's no. another one called the same. I posted a link to it in court. Watch Ethereal Snake. I can try and fit one video in before I snooze. Oh. You know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Ringo, for joining. Have you considered playing a Mori? Yeah, I want to do a Mori, but I don't think I want to start any kind of gaming streams until I'm home, which will be a couple days. He's right there, this little trog dog. We got any other suggestions? Preferably one that uh, bigger YouTubers haven't covered yet. 39 buried. Two found. I actually got, but he, he butt chungus me. He actually butt chungus me. What's he doing? Troy. Hello. Troy? Quietest dog. The Ruben Sim FBI. No, I, I literally just stopped watching that because Critical already covered it. It's pointless. You like Huey Lewis in the news? I, chose stream I, oh, I thought you were going to say what you were drawing. Definitely not. No. Yeah, if you want. Watch the flesh pit. Uh, Probably another stream. I need a whole stream to watch the flesh pit. That's long. Look what I got. Got a little teddy bear. Little teddy bear. On <laughs> little teddy bear. Show show Trog getting it, like eating it. Consume the bear, Trog. That's your child. Uh, Happy Meat Farms. Isn't that the game? I've got that on Steam, I just haven't played it yet. If you're that desperate, you should watch one of your old videos. It would make you cringe, but you get a lot of views. Watch Happy Meat Farms. Okay, that looks kind of interesting. I might watch that, actually. It's like this uh, horror thing. But it's pretty short. It's only like... This looks horrible. Okay, I might watch the Happy Meat Farm thing. Let me get it uh, set it up. VR Cult by Brandon FM.
Just trucking out. Okay, let's uh, let's let's do the uh, meat, the meat farm. This shit looks a bit fucked up. This place is not happy. Yeah, it doesn't look very happy. Don't let them erase this. Okay, kind of spooky. Kind of very scary. Kind of very spooky. Uh, I guess we start off at this one, right? So happy meat farms genome modification test 43, 47. And then orientation video. Okay, should we turn the lights off for this? Let's make it spooky. Turn the lights off. <gasps> it's so dark, it's so scary. It's so scary, it's so dark, guys. Matt Pat already did Happy Meat Farms. Literally worse than Chris. Shut up! Okay, alright. If we're going by the logic of everything's been covered ever, then I, I might as well quit YouTube. Alright, see this. This is gonna be... The following video is the sole property of the Happy Meat Farms Inc. R&D department may only be viewed by authorized R&D personnel. There will be severe civil and criminal penalties for the unauthorized viewing, reproduction, distribution, or exhibition of the following video. Any such actions establish liability for a civil action and may give rise to criminal prosecution or worse. All parties who view this video must have a signed non-disclosure agreement beforehand. Thank you and have a nice day. For more information, go to happymeatfarms.com. Okay, that's kind of spooky. Advanced genome test. Chicken male. Alive. Results. Skin aberrations, no sensory. Dude, that just looks like they ran it through an AI generator. Cow female. Alive. Results. Enlarged udder full of tumors. Oh, that looks nice. Recommendation. Terminate. Why, why is the music kind of a bop, though? The music the music kind of go hard, though. Pig male, five months status, alive. Results. Lives despite no face. That just looks like a... a that, that is literally an AI image, right? Further studying required. Cow, female. Deceased. Results died instantly. Developed stomach eye. Oh, nice. Recommendation. Incinerate. AI generated animal. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they do look like AI images. It's still pretty cool, though. Pig female. Deceased. Looking at it causes extreme discomfort. Photo withheld for viewing safety. Further studying required. Eh, 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 eh. How'd you go frame by frame again? I forget. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it. Okay, that does look pretty bad. That does look pretty bad. Uh, it's blue. I don't think a pig should be blue. Chicken male. Unknown. Develop extreme growth. Unclear if alive. Center, center human resources. Cow female alive. Develop extreme growth. Oh, nice. Center HR. Results are starting to be effective. Increasing treatment levels. Uh oh. The music do go hard though. It really, it shouldn't be going that hard. Chernobyl animals. I literally just watched uh, Chernobyl on HBO the other day. So yeah, probably. Big male, two months. Forced to terminate. Uncontrollable growth killed an employee. Oh, nice. Is that real? Yeah, no, it's real. They took they took that from like a KFC. It's real. That's that's a real image. Look at the. It is. No, it's a real image. Are you doing a fucking bit? Are you doing a bit, or did you actually think that was real? I don't know. I always saw it from the side. Average woman, like it. it it's. Oh, okay. It's like AI generated. 
But it's just meant to look like spooky. I, I cannot believe you actually thought that was real. No, I didn't. You did. You said, is that? You, you just come on and you go, is that real? Yeah. <laughs> Troy. <laughs> Cow male missing. I like how she thought that was real. Subject escaped. This is the only available photo. Oh, nice. That looked like a mushroom. Recommendation, find it immediately. This is why you never eat at KFC, guys. Results. Effective. Begin human trials. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, I literally get suggested the uh, the soy theory video. All right, what's this one? <laughs> Happy Meat Farms has an exciting new opportunity for employees looking to advance in the company. Our research and development department is always working on exciting new <laughs> it's, it's innovations. It's so genius, just the stock. Volunteers to test them out. Rest assured that these actually, I think that's real. I don't think that's like stock that videos. I think they've actually done that themselves. Hang on. Hang on, what the fuck is this? Power gets caught in 4K? What is this? Oh. Oh. Couldn't connect the item server? Yeah. Oh no, I got my shit, okay. Is it a bit or is it just the actual... No. Yeah. Uh, it was a ba it's base mod though, to be fair. Uh, they, they released another one that I've got now. Thank you for participating in Happy Meat Farms <laughs> research and development. Just the stock so image, is, the stock footage is so good, man. And it's a small part of the new world order. Spooky. I think there's one more. The orientation video. Hi, I'm Ramona Bynes, founder of... Hi, Ramona Bynes. Hi. I was a little girl. I was an animal lover, and I'm so... Oh, my God. She was an animal lover, guys. Can be treated oh, my God. There has to be a jump scare. Yeah, I'm surprised there's actually no jump scares yet. It's pretty cinema. Going to the Happy Meat Farms, Human Resources Orientation. I mean, I would work for this company. They, they play like dubstep for their videos. Troy. 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 Nate. Nate. You're too loud. It's actually fully stuck. Oh, no. I had to move the little bowl, just so he's not. Oh, is he lying down? Okay, yeah, best. I'm gonna say, because all I hear is just in the background, like, uh, uh, dog, dog, dog. Oh, this, this is where they were sent to for HR. The asset is sedated and can't harm you. There's just three rules you need to know before we begin. Rule one, don't touch anything. Rule two, don't look at anything. It's kind of hard to do, but all right. Have fun. I'm gonna have so much fun making a person burger. whole room full of holes <laughs> my favorite room it's actually my favorite room the hair room so they've obviously just gone to like an abandoned hospital like middle america right like in the middle of north america i think that's pretty cool having fun yet i'm having so much fun The butterfly room. Fun. 
This is so... Is that a horse? Just clipping into the wall? He's fun. He is fun. He's just, he's just got no clip on. He's fun. Cow. The cow room. Okay. That's my favorite room. The cow room is my favorite room now. Average paracynical fan's birthday party there. An asset escaped here and made quite the mess. Dog. Dog. Okay, that's kind of a scary looking dog. I don't want- I don't, I don't think I'll pet the dog. I'm good. No, I don't- I don't want to pet any of them. Is this not the only hospital they got in Ohio? Because, like, this looks like ass. Elden Ring dog. Uh-oh. <gasps> the OT department! Uh-oh. We don't talk to Jared. What is that? Sorry, I can't show you that. Show me! Show me! I wanna see! It's full of fairies? Yeah. Yeah. That's- that's why we can't see anything, honestly. We've arrived. Uh-oh. Spooky time. Oh, what is that? Ew. Little slug. Oh, that's not even the mother, is it? That's taking it for food. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for supporting us at Happy Meat Farms. We're so glad to have you as a part of our family, and we hope to see you again soon. It's not me. It's not her, guys. It's not her. Uh, thank you, the Coom, for joining. The Coom. Your guys' names, man. All right, I'm going to end stream now. Uh, I might be live tomorrow, still not sure yet. Uh, and then I travel for a couple of days, so I won't be streaming. But yeah, I'm probably just going to take like a 20-minute break now. Get something to eat, and then I'll get back to working on Cruelty Squad. Thank you all for joining, uh, and I should be back tomorrow or day after. Bye-bye. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, how, how, does he, how does he do it? How does he do it? Uh, PewDiePie. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys. Guys. Yeah, you wish. You fucking wish. <gasps>